So if you are traveling in the land, there is no blame upon you if you shorten your prayer. In khiftum an yaftina kumul lazina kafaru. Now there is another additional condition here in the Quran. If you fear that those your enemies, your the kufar, they will afflict you, they will attack you. Conditions are emergency conditions. Verily, these, these unbelievers, they are clear and open enemies for the moments. Now, this is the only ayah in the Quran where Qasr fi salah is mentioned. But this ayah is putting another restriction, another limitation, another condition. Not a condition of peace, but if there is a fear, if there is a condition of emergency. But this is this has been extended by the Prophet. This is the mercy. This concession, the Prophet extended. Sunnah can add something to Quran. Sunnah cannot abrogate Quran. But Sunnah can add something to Quran. Just as I told you in the law of in, in, in the law of Muharramat, Nikah, you cannot have two sisters at once in marriage with you. But the Prophet said. The same will be the case of a woman and her maternal aunt or paternal aunt. They cannot be taken into marriage simultaneously. So that was an addition by the Prophet So this qasr in, in ordinary journeys, it is an addition from the sunnah of the Prophet Now this is salatul khawf. There is emergency, there is fear. That if we all stand in prayer, and because you know at that time the prayer was to be led by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and if you have two prayers, two congregations as we are having, now the Prophet will be leading only one, and nobody, no among the Muslims at that time would be ready to leave this congregation and wait for the second congregation, congregation which will not be led by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now this is the problem. Otherwise it is easy. You can divide. You know. Half of the army, half of the contingent, they can pray and the other can stay behind guarding and then you know they can go and the, the rest you know they, they can come and pray. But no, it is the case, special case when Muhammad is there Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the wordings are, وَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِيهِمْ When you are among them, with them, فَأَقَمْتَ لَهُمُ الصَّلَاةِ And you are now leading the prayer for them. So now one group of the Muslims should stand behind you with you. But they should take their arms with them. The arms should be ready nearby. Not that they have to run after you know if, if there is some uh, attack you know surprise attack. Now running for the, for the arm. No. Keep the arms with them. Faiza Sajadu when they have prayed now they should go in the rear, in the back. And the other group now should come. Who have not yet prayed, now they should pray with you. And they should take now their precautions also, their shields also, and their arms also. Now what is the condition? Two rakat are to be offered. First rakat, the Prophet and the people, the first group will say together. Then Muhammad used to keep sitting. He is not standing for the second rakat. The second rakat, all the people are saying themselves, just as we join the congregation, if we are joined late, then we complete our salah. Now then, when they have completed that, they go. Now the other group comes, and now Muhammad Sallallahu stands up and the second rakah, these people are now praying behind him. 
and after that you know the uh, muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say salam and they will complete their prayer another uh, another raka so that was the condition in which you know no, no, nobody was deprived of the imama of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what the ladina kafaroo la taqfulun these kuffar these your enemies these unbelievers they very much love it like it that you become unaware of your arms you just forget them wa amtiyatukum and your baggage and luggage fa yamiluna alaykum malatan wahida and then they swoop swoop upon you in at once then they you know attack you in a surprise attack wala junaha alaykum in kana bikum azam min matarin but there is there will be no blame upon you if there is you know some difficult conditions due to raining aw kuntum marda or somebody is you know is is ill antadaw waslihatakum that you you set aside your your arms wa khuzu hizrakum but you should have at least the shields with you precaution if somebody attacks at least you can have you can save yourself with the shield in allah adda lil kafirin azaban muhina verily allah subhanahu wa taala has prepared for the unbelievers a very a very chastisement which is humiliating faiza qadaytum as-salah now when you have said your prayer completed fazkurullah qiyamun wa qu'udan now don't take to the attitude that now you have forgot allah salah is for zikr of allah it is a definite form of zikr of allah aqimi salat al zikri but after this also you have to continue zikr of allah you must go on remembering allah you are not going to forget allah for a moment even faiza qadaytum as-salah fazkurullah qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubikum keep allah in your mind remember him whether you are standing or you are sitting or you are reclining by your, by your sides faizat manantum and when you feel you are secure there is peace there is no danger of any attack by the enemy faqimu as-salah now establish the regular prayer now this salatul khauf this will not be there now this qasr will not be there inna salata kanat alal mu'minina kitaban maquta verily this salah has been prescribed on the moments according to the times appointed times wala tahinu fi ittiba'il qawm and don't feel weak don't be weak in ittiba'il qawm in your pursuing the hot pursuit of the enemy pursue them follow them wala tahinu fi ittiba'il qawm in takunu ta'lamun very beautiful sentence very beautiful ayah if you are hurt you have to face difficulties because going to war there are hurtings there are injuries you may be going without food you may have to go without water all the things in ta'lamuna fa innahum ya'lamuna kama ta'lamun your enemies also are are bearing all the hardships and pains aren't they the 1000 army came over to badr from makka more than 200 miles was it easy for them they were striving for the cause of tahut you are striving for the cause of allah so you shouldn't complain of any discomforts injuries or losses to life and wealth and property they your enemies they are also doing the same are they not sacrificing their lives didn't abu jahl sacrifice his life for the idols for their wrong deen so oh muslims why do you show weakness but now who are who is being addressed here not abu bakr not umar who are being addressed the munafiqeen you profess to be muslims you profess to be mu'mins you profess to be believing in allah you profess to be believing in hereafter but tarjuna min allah ma la yarjun you have expectation from allah which they don't have you have expect expectation that if you are martyred you will go straight to paradise they don't have any expectation 
they don't believe in the hereafter still they are ready to sacrifice their lives just look to the japanese in the second world war they didn't believe in any paradise or any hereafter but they were you know committing suicide harakari and they were directing the bomb and they were themselves you know navigating the bomb and then descending into the chimneys you know of the ships and they knew it when the bomb will explode first of all their pieces you know they will fly then some harm will come to the ship and they were doing it for what for their king hirohito because he they took them to be some you know devata some god so what to you you believe in allah you believe in hereafter and you are seeing showing reluctance from going to war for the cause of allah how beautiful wala tahinu fi ibtigha' alqaum in takunu ta'lamun fa innahum ya'lamun kama ta'lamun alam alam means pain if you have to experience pain they are also bearing pain just as you are bearing pain wa tarjuna min allah ma la yarjun and you expect and hope from allah what they don't expect wa kana allah aliman hakima and verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alim and hakim all knowing all wise 